Everything you need to know in the Desert Conquest KVK, we are going to talk about this today. I've done a little bit of my exploring here and I've learned some amazing things that I am going to share to every single one of you. My name is Shinchi42. If you guys enjoy Rise of Kingdoms and especially this new KVK, consider subscribing, turn your notification on, and let's get on to the Desert Conquest. There's a quick button here in the Season of Conquest. If you click Fortress Map, it actually makes you zoom out. So I think that was a really nifty feature that they have added here. So um, let's first talk about the Fortress because this is you know you know the biggest confusion when I first got into it, and you know there was a lot of people who was confused as well. So um, I am currently the general of a two ancient fortress. So um, first of all, let's differentiate things in here. Inside your camp, there is ancient fortress. All right. So these are strongholds. Now, if you go out of your um, area into the uh it, into the next zone here or into the debt i forgot what this is called like the debt valley or whatever it is but um in here sea of debt that's what it's called in the sea of debt they have the desert fortress and they also have um i still don't know what this means why there is a symbol here they also have the um, colossus of nature all right so here's the basic things that we need to understand first we need to understand how can we gain points here in this kvk now defeating barbarians is no longer the thing if we go to prestige list click this question mark as you can see here you can gain points by killing each other in this kvk now fighting in the open field will not grant you the most rewards because you only get 10 prestige points per t5 kill right this is going to be like you know open field rallying city that's what you're going to get for points um if you want to get points huge you have to attack or defend colossi holy sites desert fortress or ancient fortress you get 30 points prestige per t5 killed so majority of the battle has to happen within attacking defending colossi holy sites desert fortress and ancient fortress so a key information as well to note in the prestige list in here um, when we're looking in this um, if you're fighting in the open field, you are going to get this or just normal, right? But if you're fighting the, you know, whatever is listed here, you're going to get additional, additional, okay? So this is important. This is an added points towards to this, okay? So initially when I read it, I thought it's either or, but it's actually, you know, if you're fighting in the, um, in the Colossi and you killed a T5, you get 30 prestige point plus another 10 because this is the base number. So I think I, that's the correct way of understanding it. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section below. Um, another thing is I thought barbarians are useless anymore since you're not going to get into the individual rankings, but you do need the barbarians to do your achievements in here. When you go to coalition, you still get the individual honor points, which is going to be from the barbarians. As you can see here, um, if you click the question mark icon, you will still get the honor points for that defeating barbarians and barbarian forts. All right. So initially I missed that. I thought, you know, what the heck? We don't really need to kill barbarians, but we do. So we've talked about the fortress, ancient fortress and the desert fortress and the Colossi. And then if we're talking about the holy sites, you guys should be aware of that. Now, this is going to be like the sanctuary, um, the circle and those other stuff. So, um, let's go ahead and talk about the general all right so now as you can see i am currently general in two areas so i'm a general here and i'm also a general oh not that one i am also a general on uh on a ancient fortress that i'm not even 
I'm not even there. So you do not have to be inside to be the general. Oh, actually, I'm inside here. So, but like I can step out of here and I am still the general of the ancient fortress. Now, the question is, who can appoint general? So the person who can appoint general, um, I don't think it's really noted here, but um, the only person that can appoint general is the current general, which is me, and then the coalition leaders which is going to be the alliance leaders of each coalition. So if I click here in my alliances only, as you can see, if I click my alliance here, then I can only see my alliance here. This is my leader, Abud. Uh, if you um, uncheck that, I can grant anybody as the you know general. So I can appoint anybody, whoever I want, and they will become the general, all right? So I can also dismiss myself here, and then they will have to be the one to appoint that, I assume. Okay, but right right now we're not gonna do that. So here's the thing that we're going to do. Um, we're going back here with my Edward, and as you can see, uh, there is this thing called assemble. All right, so I can assemble everybody so that they will be a garrison. All right, and then the first thing that you need to understand here is that whoever you select first, they are going to be the captain. So if I select vodka, he will be the captain. So you have to be very very careful on who you select first because they are going to be the captain now if i select myself or i uncheck that and i'm the only one checked then i will be the captain now you can do is a select everybody and everybody's garrisoning all right so this ancient fortress is now being garrisoned now i cannot move anything from there um so actually i need to go back here since they are now in garrison all right if i select this by the way, the dispatch, it has to be, you have to be the general of boat and a fortress before you can do the dispatch thingy. Um, so you can see I cannot dispatch anybody since they are, you know, you know, garrisoning in there. So what I need to do is I need to assemble, uncheck everybody and go into uh, form here as well. So you can see. Um, I can click all this in here, maybe a little bit uh, discombobulated actually. So as you can see, um, now that I have removed everybody and now everybody is idle, I can move anybody who I want. I can click dispatch. And like I said, I can only ha manage the one that I am, you know, as a general. So it's smart to have multiple, you know, uh, multiple fortress handled by one general so that they can move troops. So let's say, you know, the ancient fortress is getting rallied and you do not have the capability of defending it, then the general will then have to move every single, you know, every single player. So the recommended system is kind of whack. Um, it just recommended every single one here, but um, I want you to pay attention in here for the fortress capacity, and that's very crucial. Um, let's say I'm manning three fortresses in here. That I can divide and move everybody out so everybody is safe. So what I would do is um, I can move here. Um, I can move myself out. You can see this patch. Click confirm. I move myself out. I can bring it back here. All right. Um, you can always, you know, if somebody moves you, in and out you can always you know manipulate it and if you don't want to go there then you can you know you're not you're not restricted by the general's movement is what i'm trying to say um so we've learned that dispatch we've learned assemble now we got to learn about the form so the form um you can select everybody in here and this allows you to rally so you have to select everybody like i mentioned the first checkbox that you click will be the captain so once i click confirm here Everybody is drafted to rally. As you can see, it changed. Then now I can launch a rally to this person. And next, as you can see, the rally selection will be, you know, having this symbol with the feathers in here. Um, this is my Edward as well. Now, once I launch a rally in here, what we have noticed is that uh, players can join the rally that are not in the fortress. So if you see the rally, you want to join the rally, you can join the rally. Um, by doing so, it's going to come out from your base, all right? It's going to come out from your base and it's going to go to the fortress to join the rally. So basically the rally point is the ancient fortress. Now the ancient fortress, we tried somebody launching a rally and we tried to reinforce it with the ancient fortress troops. We cannot do it, unfortunately. So um, if you are the captain, you can cancel rally um, of anybody that is you know, in that, um, uh, what is that called? In that, um, in that fortress. So like what we did earlier is that I launched a rally, uh, from here to this guy. And then I relinquish my general. 
All right. So when I relinquished my general, um, the new captain was able to cancel my rally. So that's uh, that's a thing there. So the alliance leaders, I've, I've, as I've mentioned earlier, they can manipulate and change the generals of that area. All right. So if, even if you're the general, your leaders can change it and remove you as a general of that specific location. Now, a few things that I still do not kind of understand in here, but I think I have a general consensus or general idea in this one. Um, the green part is where we can teleport. All right. And then the the white part, which is the, what is that called again? Um, that sea of debt is something that we shouldn't be able to teleport, but we can move around our troops. There's a lot of fortress. Um, like I've mentioned, if, uh, if a fortress that you are, you know, managing, then you know you cannot handle it. You know, it's best to remove everybody's troops. So it is wise for leadership to have multiple um, generals handling multiple, sorry, a general handling multiple fortress. For example, I am getting rallied at this point in this location. Um, if I'm getting rallied at this location, then I don't have any other manned general that I'm managing. And I cannot move troops of these people inside. So if somebody's launching a rally and we know we can't defend it, then everybody's pretty much going to die because I can't kick them out. They're stuck there. So if I have two, then I can mobilize some here. But having multiple one is great because if one is full, then I can send it to the next one and to the next one and to the next one, right? So that's a big information to know, in my opinion, that people need to be prepared for what's coming with the new gameplay um i really do like the gameplay of this we're definitely going to see a lot of rallies and a lot of players gonna be utilized um you know this kvk i think is not gonna be mainly for the mega whales so for this kvk it's potentially that i even can be a good garrison captain because i have a decent gear so i might be able to captain but then i have to move you know specific Right, I can. I need to. I can. I can manipulate. Like if I need archers, I need cows. I can move around things. I think that's going to be amazing. Um, I would definitely love to be a, a general here when you know when when we're awake and we're doing some fights. I think that's going to be amazing. Um, let's take a look in here more. Um, Chronicles, you know, not really that important. War of Conquest, we know what this is. Same thing, but the prestige, right? Even for coalition, we need to first occupy Colossus and Holy Sites and Passes. Continual occupation. Uh, so we gain the continuous points from here. Still, nothing is, um, you know, in the rankings in here right now because there's really no actions yet. Um, individual ranks, as you can see, you're going to get some Conquest coin up to, up to rank 20. All right. So it's not bad. Coalition rewards. Coalition rewards only the top two coalition will get the conquest coins and then the camp camp you get no coins from there um, The shop is there anything new from the shop? Um, Persian dreams. Uh, okay. There's really nothing new Within the shop nothing new. All right hall of the heroes. We still get the same thing. All right, so um, we're not done yet. There's one more thing that we got to talk about is the Bastion. So as you guys know, the typical Bastion stuff in here is that, you know, we get the skill and that's pretty much it, right? And we get more favor and we get XP or the crystal. Um, we also get this new thing called healing potion. So the more Bastion quests you do, the early you do it, you're going to be able to get this healing potion. And how does that work? Uh, we've seen this here already. You can see use potion first and you can click that for revealing some little information there. Um, you can also uncheck that if you don't really need to use the healing potion. Um, to get a little bit more info about the healing potion, let's read it because I forgot what it does. So um, go here to the bastion. Let's see what it's going to do. I think it says here, um, use it to treat severely wounded to help them to return to the battlefield. So I think this is more of like an instant thingy. Um, I don't get why it says 3000 there. So since we don't have it yet, I don't have a whole lot of information to give to you guys for that one, unless somebody has an idea or maybe an assumption um, within you know what's happening here with the update. Um, bundles, there's really, ooh, ooh, okay. There's some decent bundles here. If you are going to do some recharge, you can get some crystals in here. All right. Um, I don't know if I'm going to buy this. 
So I, I don't know yet if I will or we're going to keep it F2P. Maybe I'll buy that one this time because last time I did not purchase it. Um, I need to make sure that I keep working onto this today. So very exciting. Um, I think we've captured majority of the things in here now. So the fortress that I was a general um, got attacked. So we got attacked in here. Initially, I thought, you know, we, we didn't really got a report because it was, you know, the same camp. But I realized is that I don't think I put you know garrison in there that's why there was no troops so when there was no garrison and when you don't set a garrison you know when it gets attacked it's you just get kicked out of it and then it's going to shield up here for 30 minutes all right the 30 minutes is the refresh so uh, to show you you know visually in here let's say this is the garrison um the player attacked us in there but i did not set anybody as garrison there's there's no garrison so if i remove this it was just like this when it got attacked it was zero troops zero capacity when that happens this thing gets attacked everything goes out so what i also realized is that when i left i don't think i was getting notification um as a general but i i, I need to test it again so i think you guys should definitely do some test um if you are being attacked and you're the general and you don't have any troops inside um you know if you're you're the, as a general you don't have a troops inside if you're still going to get the notification and if you're going to get the battle report so those things i am not able to test at the moment so you know i highly recommend that you guys would test it so you know I, I do appreciate that you guys are watching here until the end because there's so many information here to give out and i wasn't able to give it out in the very beginning so good luck there's a lot of stuff for you guys to you know try out here so a little bit of um extra information here today um before we end the video so if you click in the desert fortress number five here desert fortress are only vulnerable to attack from nearby enemies this means that parties seeking to wrest control of the desert fortress must occupy another nearby fort first so if they're going to attack let's say we've captured this for them to attack they have to be close by based on what my understanding in here and with the chat that we're talking in here um saying that these symbols are going to be the closest one to the fortress and this is probably your first leg or first thing to capture and then from then um you can spiral out and um, capture more from from this point um these are going to be pretty much acting as your flag so i assume once this is captured there's going to be like square boxes in here that allows you to capture so this is why probably this is close so for you to take this you must either have this or have this to either take the colossi here uh, for capture so um just a quick information here um to separate things in here the ancient fortress and desert fortress are different the ancient fortress can be attacked anywhere but the desert fortress needs to be connected so you need to click the information read number five bullet point there and compare the notes so by the way you are earning prestige points per minute for that one so really holding these structures are very important um since we're still in exploration mode there might be some incorrect information if there is some incorrect information from this video make sure to leave it down in the comment section below if we miss something or if you guys have an opinion about this let us know in the comment section below and um i don't know if you guys want me to talk about with the recent changes on the migration i think that's a very juicy conversation a little bit political but um maybe we can talk about it i don't know i gotta see in the comments if that's something that you guys are looking for but if not we don't need to talk about the migration right um just remember you can be the general and the captain doesn't have to be the general all right anyway rockers thank you guys for watching i will see you guys again next time